Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to day 9 for the twin for 20 and today for the best animes that we are about to review we're about to review the anime Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood okay <clears throat> now I did see the original Full Metal Alchemist and granted I had a lot of fun watching it but I did like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood a tad bit better, mainly because it was way more action-packed and way more, uh, yeah, what, what's that word I'm thinking of? Um, inviting, I think I would kind of say. But, let's just go on with this review. So, the story of Full Metal Alchemist is just like Full Metal Alchemist the original, about Two brothers who goes by the name of Edward and Alphonse Elric are one day doing the tremendous taboo of bringing a human back to life uh, while using a form of alchemy. And alchemy is sort of like the science of deconstructing, reconstructing, and constructing um, anime objects into certain things. Um, like, how would I give this? Okay, uh, there's a law for alchemy called the Law of Equivalent Exchange. And here's how it would basically work. <clears throat> I put out videos for you, the viewer, and in return, you watch this video and you give me a view and, or you will comment and like on this video and I get feedback and I don't really make much off of YouTube. In fact, I don't make a penny off of YouTube, but I get the satisfaction that someone's actually watching my content and that's basically the law of equivalent exchange. I provide videos and you provide me with likes and views and comments on the video and that makes me feel happy that I'm actually entertaining someone. And truth be told, I, I always answer comments so if you always leave a comment, please give, be sure to leave a comment or two down below. But anyway. That's basically the law of equivalent exchange. So after doing this taboo, Edward, the older brother, lost his right arm while his younger brother Alphonse lost his whole entire body. <clears throat> and Edward, being the supportive big brother, puts Alphonse in his huge stat, uh, huge knight of armor. I would say statue, but no, he puts him in this knight empty armor. And our, the story is about these two brothers trying to figure out a way how to get their original bodies back. And that's the story of Full Metal Alchemist Brother. And by the way, Edward becomes what's called a state alchemist, a.k.a. the dogs of the military. Guys, I fucking loved Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. As I mentioned before, I did see the original, but I prefer the Brotherhood a lot better. I found Brotherhood to be the most action-packed, the most thrilling, the most awesome version of Full Metal Alchemist I have ever seen, period. And I did actually read the manga, and I believe Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was more faithful to it, although the original did sort of, um, you know, I believe they did something with that, but I'm not really sure. Um, let's start off with a big thing. Uh, animation always goes without saying. Fun. It was so good. It was beautiful. I like the inanimate shots, like when someone's looking at the horizon or at the sea or at the sun looking down on a mountain. They look, I'm sorry, the animation looks awesome. I love the animation in this anime. The character designs were all interesting and I really liked the, um, the character designs for each character. And going about characters, there are too many characters of Full Metal Alchemist Magic to even mention who will really stand out the most. Because each and every single character in this anime was all awesome, all amazing. Going to the main characters, to the side characters, to the supporting characters, to even the one episode appearance characters. They were all Awesome. They were all amazing and all served a purpose and a story behind their actions. I really enjoyed each and every single character in this anime. But let's start with the main protagonist, Edward and Alphonse Elric. <sighs> Y'all, I really like their relationship, their brotherly bond. I always like how Edward is willing to do anything to protect his little brother at, at the same time. 
Alphonse doing the same with his older brother. I found, you know, their relationship to be one of the most dynamic relationships in any anime. They're brothers, and they'll always will be brothers. <clears throat> Going to some of the other characters, I love... Yes, this is, probably, this is probably everyone's favorite character, but hell, it's always worth mentioning this man. This man goes by the name of Roy Mustang. This guy is a bad ass. I was like, did I say bad ass? Badass. He is like the capital definition of the word badass. If you look badass in the word, in the dictionary, you'll probably see his face in it. That's how much of a badass he is. I like his snarky attitude, his resolve, and always fighting back, always never giving up. I freaking loved Roy Mustang. He was a badass to begin with. His flame alchemy, amazing. And we're about to get into this pretty soon, but the English dubbed voice acting for him, Travis Willingham, <laughs> bravo. You deserve a round of applause. And we'll get to the English dub pretty soon. Uh, going to some of the other characters, I really like Riza Hawkeye. She, no, to be honest, I never really saw her and Roy Mustang to be, you know, in a intimate relationship. I felt like they their bond was just more of a strict friendship and that they always would really support each other. I never really saw them as a lovey-dovey couple. Absolutely not, although I guess there was sort sort of like that little girl inside that really makes me think, you know, they were kind of cute together, but you know, I never really saw it like that, and I really thought that they were just strictly friends. I really liked that. <clears throat> Next we have uh, Scar. I really love Scar in this anime. Even though you don't really know his full name and you don't really know um, much about him, I really still did love Scar. He was one of the most interesting main characters, oh, sorry, main characters, supporting characters or side characters I have ever seen in an entire anime. I found it to be interesting, at the same time creepy and sadistic, and you really want to know more about Scar in this anime, and I really like him a lot in this anime. <clears throat> oh my god, there's just so many characters to really choose from. The homunculus? Forget about it. Those guys are amazing. Some of the homunculus that really stand out to most to me was greed and and uh, gluttony. Those two alone said it's own. Oh, and wrath. And actually all of them. Like all of the homunculus were outstanding. They were all so evil in a way. I really like the homunculus in this anime. Oh my god. Again, so many characters to really choose from that I can't really pick out one of my favorites. Um mm. And that was basically, you know, I can't really think about the characters, but those are the really the characters that really stand out to me the most. Oh, and also Von Hohenheim, Edward and Alphonse's father. I really found him interesting. They even had a whole episode dedicated to what he was really about. Who is really Von Hohenheim? This guy was outstanding. I really found him one of the most interesting characters in Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and in the original Full Metal Alchemist to begin with. I liked him a lot. He was interesting and you, you, you really have a sense of feeling that yes, he was a father figure. He is a father figure to these boys, and I really liked his character a lot. <clears throat> anyway, enough about characters. Let's go on to the story. The story, fantastic. The story, all, all were fantastic. I freaking love the story in this anime. The story, forget about it. If you want to watch an anime with a fantastic story, go ahead and watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The English dubbed. Forget about it. Fuck the world. Guys. This anim- oh my- animation, I already mentioned that. The English dub is one of the Funimation's best English dubs I have ever seen, ever witnessed. The anime- oh sorry, anime- keep saying animation! The English dubbed, I don't really normally gossip about English dub because mainly I'm like a sub fanatic, but the English dub for this one was fantastic. Having Vic Mingyana, Lucy Christian, Monica Rial, Travis Willingham, uh, Colin Klinkenberg, just like the spot on characters that we would all know and love. I believe Crispin, no, no, not Crispin Freeman. Crispin Freeman wasn't there. Brandon Potter, voice of Hari McKenzie from School Rumble, makes a little appearance, not really appearance, he was actually a voice in the radio. But I, I was caught completely off guard. Hey, it's Haruma, yeah. 
I really liked them a lot. And the voice acting, forget about it. One of the Funimation's best English dubs of all time. It was ranked number one on my top ten English dub list. Go check out that list if you have not. <clears throat> Uh, the ending was really satisfying. The, like, I found it to be one of the most satisfying endings to any anime. I felt like there was a clean resolve. Everything was back to the way it was. And, you know, I really felt a clean slate at that ending. It, it was really perfect. I felt like justice was deserved. Justice was delivered. The Elric brothers got what they wanted. And that was it. That was all. I loved, I loved the ending... Excuse me. I love the ending in this anime. It was spot on beautiful. Excuse me. The soundtrack is also amazing. The soundtrack really makes the action so awesome. The action in this anime was amazing. I love the action in this anime. And the soundtrack really, really makes it spot on. The action with the awesome freaking, you know... OST or soundtracks was amazing. The action plus that was outstanding. Fucking love. I love orchestral music. Okay. Orchestral music is like almost the uh, pinnacle of real modern day music. I love the orchestral music in this anime a lot. It was one of the most well done soundtracks in any anime. And the opening and ending themes were also great. I loved each and every opening and ending theme in this anime. This... <sighs> Guys, I've been going on about this anime for 11 minutes, and trust me, there's still so many good things to say about this anime. But, I only have a 15 minute time limit, so I can't really botch that up. So anyway, all I need is my verdict. What do I give Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? I give Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood the honor of giving it a 10 out of 10. It is a masterpiece. Everyone should watch it. Go check out Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. If you're gonna watch it on Netflix, I um, you, you would probably have to like find the rest on the internet because it has like at least 75% of it, and like the rest you have to find it on the internet. But still, it's really worth watching, especially that ending was one of the most satisfying things of all time. Anyway, that will conclude day nine for the 10 for 20. I've been talking for a while. I need to drink. Now, see you later, people. This is the Grimson Assassin signing out.